This particular laboratory has been in existence for around 30 years now and we've always been a specialist crown and bridge laboratory where we produce uh, highly aesthetic restorations for very discerning clients who expect very high quality results. The majority of our work is actually pressed ceramic. Until recently, uh, relatively recently, we would uh, use the age-old dripping wax technique and carve the restorations uh, from uh, general inlay wax. Uh, but now we design the restorations on a computer and then we send the files to a Solidscape uh, wax printer. Fit and finish of the resulting patterns once they're printed uh, is, is astonishing. I, I've, I, I've yet to encounter anything that betters it and that includes milled wax um, or milled resin purporting to be wax. One of the better things about Solidscape's system is that the wax that is being printed is very nearly wax. It's, it's almost a, as easy to use as a general inlay wax. So the, the manipulation of it is second nature to a dental technician who's grown up with the traditional way of working. There is a vast uh, industry waiting in the wings uh, for private dentistry, in my opinion. The dentistry provided by the National Health Service is going to shrink. Uh, that means that the majority of people will not be able to rely on the National Health Service for their crown and bridge restorations, dentures and that kind of thing in the future. It's clear that with the higher expectations that will come with that uh, new industry or increased industry, um, laboratories are going to have to perform to a higher standard, uh, just merely through expectation. We're only going to be able to uh, compete w with our local competitors, never mind the ones uh, offshore, uh, on service quality and uh, I hate using the phrase, but the X factor, that, that indefinable something that people just like about your work uh, and seek it out. I think it's essential that clients understand the technology behind what we produce. So I, I've written um, an article uh, about the printer's benefits and, and how they benefit the laboratory. Uh, and how that benefit is passed on to the client and then of course to the patient. Um, the, the astonishing fits that you can achieve uh, w without really making any effort at all. Uh, and we're using fewer precious metals. Um, we're using uh, nickel chrome uh, non-precious alloys uh, which have quite low intrinsic value we can use more of the metal to provide uh, a, a really strong restoration with minimal layering over the top of the uh, metal work which provides uh, security f for the future. We're, we're making stronger restorations. Having that as an advantage over competing laboratories uh, it, I, it's necessary. The first is the absolute stability of the material. Even though it's basically wax, it is utterly stable. It's very difficult to, uh, to warp it or distort it. The other thing, because of the stability, the absolute fit. The fit against the margin. It's a real skill to get a dripped wax uh, coping to remain stable and fit throughout its life in wax. And sometimes uh, we see disappointing results once they've been cast with the wax patterns produced by the Solidscape techniques, um, they fit. There are no marginal gaps and it's just perfect.